Amanda, and today I'm going to show you the books that I have chosen for the A to Z challenge. I've decided that this year I'm going to choose a book for every letter of the alphabet and read it throughout the year. Some people will do this as they go and they just pick books and mark them off, but I thought I would choose all the books ahead of time and then just pick two to three every month to read and see how that goes. I really enjoyed finding the books. It was kind of fun and a bit of a challenge to find a book for every letter, but I think I did it. So here we go. The first one is A Float by Erin Healy for A. Next is Black and Blue by Anna Quinlan for B. Then we have Choke by Chuck Palahniuk for C. Dust by Joan Frances Turner for D. Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin for E. Flashback by Dan Simmons, F. The Good Sister by Drusilla Campbell, G. Human Point Four by Mike, Mike A. Lancaster, H. Creepy Cover. I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith, I. Jerk California by Jonathan Friesen, J. J. Kill Me by Stephen White, K. Lucky by Alice Siebold, L. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews for M. The Nightmare Thief by Meg Gardiner, N. Obedience by Will Lavender, O. The Possibility of You by Pamela Redmond, P. This one I had to get a little bit creative with. The Memoirs of Mary, Queen of Scots by Carol Lee Erickson, for Q. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, R. Save Me by Lisa Scottolini, S. Trafficked by Kim Purcell, T. And I just finished this book, so I have read one so far. The Unit by Nini Holmkvist, U. Vanishing Acts by Jodi Picoult, V. Winds of Evil by Sharon K. Gilbert, W. I just bought this book, not for the A to Z challenge, but because it sounded good, but I was so excited because it's the only book I have that starts with X, and it's XVI by Julia Carr, so X. I only have two books that start with Y, so I chose this one, and it's You Can't Hide by Karen Rose for Y. And finally, last but not least, is Zoe Letting Go by Nora Price for Z. So those are the books I've chosen for my A to Z challenge. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm not going to read an A to Z order. I'm just going to pick a couple off my shelf because there's so many different sizes that I have them. I don't have them in alphabetic order, but I put them all on one shelf so that I know to go to that shelf and choose two to three books every month so I can get through them. And it's really great because it's a nice variety of a lot of different types of books. So I hope you do this too. If you do, let me know about it. That'd be great. And I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye.